Hey, what's up? I wanted to get back, get at y'all and uh, just try to chop it up and uh, perhaps to get you to think because uh, a lot of shit that people be so passionate about and be so uh, bold about pushing be straight up bullshit narrative and lies. And this, this is the most alarming shit is that this late in time here in America, you guys still think y'all come off ships. Here in America, you guys still entertain this bullshit about slavery. The melanated man here in America is the most fiercest the most dominant, the most industrious, the most powerful living extension of God known to man, known to in this galaxy probably. And it's fucked up because uh, we are in a situation where that what you don't know really hurts you. So you you guys are forfeiting your your uh, inheritance, you know that your ancestors fought so uh, viciously and so so hard to make sure that you have a stake in. A lot of your uh, land is abandoned. A lot of y'all have not never took the time to do stuff like call the state where you know that your family is from and they have went on to deceased, you know? The shit that your mama used to tell you about with your grandmother and all of that shit, you never even went once looked and checked uh, that state's uh, unclaimed property. So you don't even know that it's a chance that you might have abandoned fucking estate, you know, because a lot of shit was... Uh, left especially now with uh everything that went on with the the pandemic and how they killed a lot of people you don't even know that perhaps just maybe perhaps if any of your family especially the older people have passed away during this pandemic it's a chance they probably got murdered poisoned and you know if you don't have anybody administrating their affairs or their business or even uh, they may have done their uh, they may have done everything, created a will uh, but because your parents have been so far attached from them, if nobody does it, then the state becomes the you know, the trustee of the estate. So and what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about how we have been affected because of all of the lies. And a lot of times, uh, you act like you shame of your history with your people being from down south. You know, so many people got fed all over the world through agriculture. And uh, what they have done was they, they have penetrated your psyche with a false sense of fear, you're not a victim. You're a victor. You've been put to sleep. And when you woke up, you woke up as a child and you get poisons and indoctrinated by the TV and these scripts or these these spells that they have re-ran and trained your mind with at a very young, impressionable age to where you really think that you came off a fucking ship. Your people came off a ship. You really think that you were fucking the slave when you were the master. And um, it's just so much that I want to tell you, but sometimes uh, to be able to do the magic and making it be uh, coming to fruition be a challenge. But what I want to let you know is most of you guys that look like me and you are slightly different. Uh, curly hair, afro, some straight lot kinky, uh, brown to dark, jet black to uh, even light skin, but definitely born here in America. 
you guys are the heirs to this land that has been in escrow. Right now, America is in escrow. You know what escrow is? Escrow is a neutral place where you can't get to the money, but it's a neutral place where it's on hold because until things get straightened out, uh, it will be held. And um, escrow will be almost like trust. A neutral place, though, a place where nobody gets nothing until you prove that you are the rightful uh, owner or heir is the right word. Not owner, but heir. And so what I'm saying is this. It's been a big trick that's been played, and they use the military branch. The military branch is Hollywood. That's the military branch that they use with programming you with the roots. And some of you... Tr treasonous traitor black people that were uh that are witches that have been you know um implicitly directly involved with, through via the spy work and the community um being infiltrated and you guys are still in office uh, you know, you have done so much damage. You know, and I will say her name, Jesse Jackson. You know that your people are Choctaw Indian or one of them, but you have played uh, the, the, the traitor position, the treasonous position and the dangerous position because you they have uh, gave you a couple of trinkets and you have taken on this fucking ministry. Everything that your people ain't about because it's, we were we worshiped each other, our ancestors. We didn't fucking be going to these buildings and these uh, doing this, uh, you know, praying to Jesus and all that bullshit. Yeah, I said it, and I don't mean to disrespect you. I want to shock you. I want you to think about it. You keep seeing these videos about people saying F Christianity and move away from it. If you still saying that Jesus stuff, I'm telling you, you may want to really reconsider because there is a spell. Uh, and a lot of you have been deeply affected. And so I want to I want to just get you to think, right? Don't trash me. Don't. I want you to think about what's going on. A lot of us are... Uh, naive, a naivete, and so we're very gullible and impressionable, and our minds are like clay. And at some point, if you guys don't do an inter independent field study research investigation about what the fuck's going on, how these people who are not from America have came and infiltrated America in such a way that you can almost see it happening right now. Okay, and the feds have a system of how they conquested people through the sword and the motherfucking Bible. And they hire people within your community that have built up a fake, they've, they've, they've garnered your faith in them. I'm talking about these punk ass reverends. And really, they're implicit in the theft of your land and your country because they help the federal government and in return, the federal government pay them. And it's uh, known as a ministry. OK, I'm just trying to tell you how this corporation ushers in and uh, supplies and fortifies and pays people to keep you asleep with this fucking false doctrine, religious bullshit, okay? So once you understand that, that they pay these reverends, 5013C is when they the, the government gives you a subsidy, subsidy uh, it gives you money and exempts you from paying taxes because there's an exchange that goes on. 
for you doing this, uh, and them doing the fibers they're doing for you, like giving you money, tax-free shelters, uh, you know, um, and grants, you're going to be their fucking eyes and ears. Ladies and gentlemen, youngsters, anybody that run across this video, just know that these ministries, it doesn't matter what, what branch, what, uh, you know, uh, what, what form of Christianity it is. I'm a lost at loss for words. What denomination or of, uh, of church it is. The fucking church is a fucking spy center to keep taps on interesting people that's a part of that congregation. You know, yeah, they're spies and traitors. A lot of times they'll be your pastors ratting you out because they see things about you that is deemed detrimental out there. They have talking to their handlers, the federal government, and all of them that have 5013C, uh, these uh, 5013Cs are getting paid to be court reported, mandatory court reporters. That's how you get your money. You got to cooperate with the federal government. Yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. I'm, I'm putting that out there so y'all know that y'all pastors is cooperating with the federal government. Now, when you talk to them, they may look at you sideways like uh, it ain't what you think. Nah, we ain't snitching. Believe me. Yeah, I remember. This is what made me go out of church and stay out of church indefinitely. Even though I had already made my mind up maybe about 13 years ago. And, of course, a lot of times we join these churches for reasons of just, you know, aligning my our spirits up with other people. That's what we do. We're very spiritual uh, people, you know. But we have to get away from this uh, ministry. The ministry is a business. It's a corporation. Remember, everything in America is based on businesses and corporations. They know how to hustle us. And so the more you know, the less likely prone and susceptible to the, the fuckery that's going on. You need to know that your country was conquested. It was conquered. America was conquered. And they there was some kind of treaty or basis of a time frame where they had to, they, they could only have conquer or occupy America for so long. Well, in 2022, they gave America back, July uh, 2022. And ever since, uh, this is why you have the pandemic, is because America itself is on auxiliary and is getting ran by the military. And although they seem to be at full power, they're not because why would you have these laws in place and statutes to where people no longer go to jail like they were? So that should tell you that uh, so-called America is being ran by the military. And so therefore they cannot fully uh, uh, administrate because they're on auxiliary mode. And so once you kind of understand that it was a mass conspiracy and it was based on the people with their agricultural, their vast agricultural uh, abundance that made these other people, mostly black people from Europe and their white counterparts up in the, the, the less... Uh, the less comfortable uh, region, which will be, you know, uh, New York, you know, so-called New England, but, but which is really old England. Everything, listen, I want you guys to start doing your uh, research. Everything that they call new, it's not new. It's actually the other way around. It's old. I'm just telling you, they taught you everything backwards. They teach you that all of these places around the world, but they were here in America. See, these people have conquested America and took the old way and took everything that was in place. I'm talking about the, 
I'm talking about uh, the corporation, uh, you know, rocking the Republic of America to sleep after they conquered it in 1872. They're not telling you that all this time you were fighting them. That's why they start bombing your cities and burning it and running you guys out of it because they were committing committing acts of war and insurrections against you. And then they went to the school and taught you that you were from Africa and they made Africa the old place where everything, motherfucker, Africa is new. Europe is new. They just, the whole concept of Europe is 18th century, maybe 17th century. Africa is uh, very new and it was uninhabitable for the longest. You need to know that any, all the old world is right here in America. I'm giving y'all the drop. I'm giving y'all the tea based on my own personal information. And so what I was getting back to is a lot of your inheritance, uh, a lot of our inheritance is uh, a lot of, you know, America. And especially the people who made the migration from the South because they, was, they were placing y'all under siege. A lot of people didn't go. And there's a, still a lot of, you know, uh, some of my people in Louisiana, Shreveport, Louisiana, and the Caddo people, uh, they are still, you know, I'm still dealing with them as an heir. And so, and what I mean by this is this, is uh, ain't no fucking slavery. The only slavery was those people that came to America that was white and the dark Europeans that uh, they made a deal in order to come here. They would have to, you know, serve for seven years uh, servitude, you know, and then they could uh, either get their land or whatever. They That's the only so-called slavery. If there was some other than that, you had slavery in the respect of black farmers, landowners uh, that had uh, these huge agricultural industries, uh, these black farmers, these black uh, slave masters, the real slave masters was us. That's why we, That's why you won't be getting no, uh, you won't get no money because you were the master. But they have turned all the tables against you with this phony fake education where they indoctrinate you as a child and they shape your schema. Your schema is your political view about the world. At some point, you had to come up out the scale, the spell that they put on your schema, your world view. And a lot of it has to do with your feelings and emotions because you rejected it. So there was this interconflict and turmoil that manifested itself in poor self-esteem, low self-esteem, and not feeling a part of your own country. Shame on you, Rockefellers. Shame on you, and you guys are going to pay. And believe me, anybody that think they're going to come here, including the UN, all these other countries, and all of these fake people, they're going to perish. The people that's here that we want to be here, they will work for us. They will be eating out our hands. Bricks, God bless bricks. Down with the U.S., up with America. I said it. Up with America. Make America great. Bye bye, U.S. Bye bye. And I think that we can do it. And some of you are going to listen and not have a clue and will be the very motherfucker that uh, I will have to kill you if you don't try to kill me because you don't know. So you're going by the indoctrinations. And a lot of times, we feel passionate, and that is the most detrimental part about when you get poisoned with a lie is that you have strong feelings about it, and it will make you a dangerous creature. Yeah, that's what you are. If you a citizen, you consider it a monster, okay? We're going to talk about uh, public versus private, okay? It's very important that you... Be able to tap into that, right? Now, I come from West Boulevard, Crip, born in L.A., Crenshaw, Adams area. So, but it's more to me than that. I'm 
more than just a crip. Before I'm a crip, I'm a black man, so-called black man, melanated Indian. But also because I know some things that's not privy to everybody, I have the Herculean task of, of putting information up. And if you don't, if you don't get it, it's still going to be, once you, whoever listens to this, it will still be in your head. And then later on, what happens, you'll hear somebody else say it, and you're going to be like, oh, that nigga wasn't crazy. He was telling some real shit. What if Spain was here? Okay, what if uh, Samaria was here? What if fucking David was in Peru? What if Arabia is fucking right here? You know, Texas, Mexico. What if that's the real Arabia? I think it is. I think everything that they've told you that was all around the world came from right here in America. And when they took it over, they have restructured and put cartographers, these are map makers in place, to give you a whole different view on history and your idea about the world. So you're lost. Most of y'all think South is North. I'm just telling you, I, most of y'all think it's a globe instead of a plane that we own. So, it's a lot to learn. I'm running out of uh, energy and vigor. So, I'm going to cut this short. But what you need to know is, there was no slavery. There were deals that were being made by the people that were in power. The Negro uh, so-called slave masters were basically, uh, you know, the overseers of these large industries and of, of forms and plantations. They were planters, the Negro planters, and they created societies and they had beautiful um, infrastructure and architecture all over. And this was the capital. And in every state, they had a building that looked just like uh, something like Washington, D.C. Capitol. You know, very. this is a very powerful an important place it is in America, and everybody wants to come here. That's why they're sending all these people, these fake people, these people who are artificially insem inseminated. None, a lot of them are not even born through birth. I'm just trying to tell you, it sounds crazy what I'm saying. I know, but you, you have to trust me and do your research. You're dealing with fake people, GMO, bootleg people, just like it's fake food. We living in a fake world. When I say fake world, that means the matrix. The matrix is this false perception. Once you know that you're living in a fake world, you have an obligation to free yourself and and become neutral and become a, a spectator. And come out the physical, because that... The physical is a trick. It's a spell. Everything that you see is not the way you see it. Because you've been disoriented. Your whole world has been turned upside down. But we'll talk again. But you just know that so-called slavery would only be pertinent to the white people. They were the Slavics, the Slavics. The Slovenians were the slaves. And what they did was they took America over and flipped a lot of things uh, and perverted them and made you uh, act like uh, your shit. They made you mad at your own shit and angry at your own shit. Like these flags, these Confederate flags. Those are flags of, from your elders and ancestors. I'm just saying, you don't have to believe me. You can just look at me and be like, oh, fuck you. Well, I know better. Until you study, you will never know that red, white, and blue has always been on all of these old, ancient... Te um, um, it's America. You know, uh, red, white, and blue is the Omec color. Red, white, and blue is in a lot of these temples and these uh, codex and Mayan ruins... 
on these murals, you see red, white, and blue. And they didn't look nothing like the people that are in place in these places right now. But when it comes to this slavery thing and the plantation and how they have programmed you, those people where you look like me and you, and they were rich. And we had oil fields and we had airplanes before they even... All of this shit was already in place and all they did was come take it from us. They, we had submarines. We had all of this shit. This was a state-of-the-art shit right here in America. They had shit underground. This shit was like a utopian. It was nothing like this in the world. And it was us because if you have this right here, this carbon, you are God and you know how to manifest anything that you think of, you can actually make come into fruition and form. You need to start doing your own magic and get control of your own fear. Fear is not bad, but when you don't understand what you're fearful of, that is dangerous and crippling. It's like a Corvette with a Pinto engine. Nigga, you was made to zoom, and they put a Pinto engine in you. You know how much harm that could do to you? Well, built to be a beast. And so when we're talking about this word slavery, you remember that that's, that does not pertain to people that look like me and you. We were the ones that were put contracting is what they called it now. Back then, they called it uh, indentured work. And so these people that assailed against you were witches and warlocks. They married on to the women because in America, you first of all, you had to come in peace because we had this shit so locked down and tight with the military and, and, and you know, all of these installations and star forts. You had to, there had to be some plays. You wasn't going to just come in America with no bullshit. And if you snuck in here, they would get, America didn't play. That's when we were in power. America did not play. In, in fact, this world as you know it, as you know it, has been inverted and scattered. All of these countries were first here in America. You won't believe it. There were cities that end up getting turned to countries. Yeah. Yeah. Iraq. Shit. <laughs> Iran, you know, all of these places are in America already, long ago. Egypt, much older than the Egypt that you, that, that used to be called Aswan, that are Mizrael, and is now called Egypt. This is the Egypt at the convergence of Illinois, the convergence of the white and the, 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 the fucking, the white and blue now, which is the fucking Ohio River and the Mississippi River. Giving you game. You need to do your studying. Everything is right here. This is the land of milk and honey. America! My Ray Charles voice. I love America. We never have nothing bad to say about the country that made me. I'm from this soil. Why you think I got this this red reddish clay skin? Huh? You don't think I'm a, pop, I'm a derivative of the Omex or the, the Aztecs? The real Aztecs look like you and me. Them other people is, you know, them made. They, they, those were put in place by people that look like me. See, th this thing, we are our enemy and we are the, our greatest savior. Because we split. We're always playing both sides. Always playing both sides. But on this thing about slavery... They wanted what you had. You lived in a fertile place. During the winter time, uh, you could grow shit. I'm talking about in the south, southern region, southeast region of America was the great best place. And in, in, in the Midwest, with the heartland, all of these places were the greatest yieldings of any food. And it was the bread bags, basket of the world. And it was, it was ran by so-called black farmers. And these people had all the resources. They had oil. They had all of this. They had cars already before fucking GM. 
Patterson, Mo Alo Molin. Anything that you see right now, as far as technology, it came from black people. So-called black people. Black is not a nationality. So forgive me, but I want people to relate when I say black, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So remember when it came to this thing that they was talking about slavery. If you look like me, you could never be a slave. You could be a prisoner of war, a prisoner of, uh, you know, insurrection, a prisoner of, uh, 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 you know, a coup d'etat where it was taken over, right? Where these black people were Jesuits and, you know, all of this stuff is about black on black and Fuck Christopher Columbus. Fuck all these time frames. That's programming, okay? Remember, everything you know is backwards. The east is west, north is south. Everything, just think about that. The real slavery happened on the Pacific. Pacific. Why do they call it Pacific? Because the waters is warmer, so it's, it's more passive. That's what they were saying. Pacific, passive. All the so-called slavery happened from there. Yeah, yeah. With the trans-Pacific uh, uh, slave trade was much bigger than this funky-ass transatlantic where they was dropping down from British on, you know, coming, you know, uh, you know up through Greenland and all that. It's the fact. So when you're talking about slavery, you got to know that all of the rich, balling, black, wealthy people, uh, they were under siege with the same people that, 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 that they imported, very much like now, that's coming in and be humble, but eventually they turned against them. And see, that's our problem to a fault. We like to help people. I'm saying fuck that. Help yourself, America. The real America, if he, if he doesn't look like me, or lighter, or if you don't have no melanin, the real America, when Trump was saying, make America great again, I knew. I just, you know, I'm affected because of the, because of uh, how they, uh, you know, turned us against each other, you know, the, 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 the blacks against whites, when you still have to bear watching all of them. But it was just a position that they were given by proxy. Once you understand that everything is an illusion and they doing everything by proxy, then you start to get that. It was always black people, black people that were against you with the white people secretly and they went in there and got those rich wealthy black people these are rich the aristocrats ain't over in england the aristocrats were negroes negro aristocratic americans and all of these places that they have hb historical black universities were these black rich, wealthy estates that got turned into buildings, that got turned into prisons and asylums, but these were great palaces that were, uh, you know, handed down from your ancestry. Black man, so-called black man, melanated Indian more. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not, listen, we need to link up. We need to link up. We need to stop fighting and being so... Emotional about shit. Nigga, how you gonna get mad at me when you wasn't there and I wasn't there? But when I tell you something to stimulate you, you get mad at me and say, no, you wasn't. Nigga, fuck you. You gonna be the motherfucker I gotta fight. Or I gotta kill because you two locked in. You are almost like a zombie. It shouldn't be nothing that you know that should be rock solid. Anything that I know shouldn't be rock solid. That's how I was able to learn so much more 
and realize that this world that we living in is uh, inverted, fake, and has been thrusted upon you. And so you have to owe it to yourself to do your own homework, to make your own informed decisions. Is all I'm saying. When it comes to slavery, you were never a slave, brother, sisters. They were. And they put a spell on you with this religion. And they also used it to spy on you. That's facts.